Right now we got George Carlin, death penalty. So. I, I'm, uh, I want to see what you got to say about this shit. I know, you know there's going to be a twist to it. You know, I'm, I'm in the minority as far as uh, black men in the hood. Mm -hmm. Because black men in the hood, for some weird reason, they know everything about yeah, like, hey bro, don't do that. That's that's ten years. Oh, that's a death penalty. <laughs> I don't know none of that <laughs> shit, bro. Yo, bro, don't do that shit. That's sixty five years plus uh, eight, eight yeah. years of parole. You get off, bro. I'm like, how the fuck y'all know all this yeah, shit? Yeah, I don't know none of that shit, bro. So they know the system, like yeah. the back of their hand. Yeah, I mean, if they did, they probably ah. <laughs> yeah, we gonna, got them. Ain't gonna catch me <laughs> violate my people. <laughs> ain't gonna catch me. Shout out to all my black people out there. But um, yeah. So let's see if the philosopher slash comedian. George Carlin can inform us. R.I.P. And we made up the death penalty. We made them both up, sanctity of life and the death penalty. Aren't we versatile? <laughs> and you know, in this country now, there are a lot of people who want to expand the death penalty to include drug dealers. This is really stupid. Man, drug are y'all fucking crazy, bro? What year was this? Someone comment what year this was. That, that's crazy. Man, what the fuck? Yo, why are they trying to get rid of us like that? Bro, first it was, if you got an ounce of crack, back then, you getting 40 years. Uh -huh. Now is, I mean, not now, but back then, they was trying to give dudes the death penalty for drug dealing? With pharmacies? Give us drug, man? Get the fuck out of here. That's, wow, I did not know that. What is Crack was still around at this time. I mean, crack is still around now. But crack is not like how it was back in the day. Yeah, it's not the, it's not the, it's not the, it's not the trend right now. Yeah, it's not the trend. It's more pills and opioids. Yeah, pills and shit. Yeah, you know? that's the new thing. That's what the kids like. <laughs> Killers aren't afraid to die. They're already killing each other every day on the streets by the hundreds. Drive-bys, gang shootings. They're not afraid to die. Death penalty doesn't mean anything unless you use it on people who are afraid to die, like. The bankers who launder the drug money. Wow. Who launder wow. the drug money. Forget the dealers. You want to slow down that drug traffic, you got to start executing a few of these fucking bankers. White, middle class, Republican bankers. Or the CIA. We can't, we can't um, do I don't, I don't know who you talking about. I mean the AIC. Yeah, yeah, say that. AIC. The AIC. I, don't, I ain't say that. This might yeah. get cut out. Yeah, I don't, I don't got, I don't got no issue. And I'm not talking, I'm not talking about soft American executions like lethal injection. I'm talking about fucking crucifixion, folks. <laughs> Let's bring back crucifixion, a form of capital punishment that Christians and Jews of America can really appreciate. And I'd go a little further. I'd crucify people upside down. Like St. Peter, feet up, head down. Little and Uzi. naked. I'd have naked upside down crucifixions on TV once a week at halftime of the Monday night football game. <laughs> My fault for pausing so much. Imagine if you were getting crucified, um, like back, like upside down, you have to take a piss. How he really would be pissing in yourself and shit like that. What kind of freak boy shit you talking about? on your face, like, oh shit. Oh, nah, that was... Like, you know? That's Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney, what does that mean? I just made it up. <laughs> you know what's funny? You ever heard something say, like, think before you speak? It doesn't, it doesn't, he, he don't, he don't think about it. He just, whatever, boom. <laughs> they gonna get out and get it. <laughs> yeah. They gonna get out and get it. Jesus. <laughs> the Monday night crucifixions. You'd have people tuning in, don't even care about football. Wouldn't you like to hear Dan Deerdorf explain why the nails have to go in at a certain angle? And I'll guarantee you one thing, you start executing, you start nailing one white banker per week to a big wooden cross on national TV, you're going to see that drug traffic begin to slow down pretty fucking quick. Uh, pretty yeah. fucking quick. You won't even be able to buy drugs in schools and prisons anymore. My cousin went like this. 
Now, I don't care about capital punishment one way or another because I know it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything except maybe satisfy a kind of biblical need for revenge. You know, if you read the Bible, you see that it's full of retribution and revenge. So really, capital punishment is kind of a religious ritual. It's a purification rite. It's a, it's a modern sacrament. And as long as that's true, I say, let's liven it up a little. Okay. I honestly believe if you make the death penalty a little more entertaining and learn to market it correctly, you just might be able to raise enough money to balance the stupid fucking budget. <laughs> Talk your shit, George. It's funny, because they even listen to this nigga. And don't forget, the polls show... They didn't even listen to him. What are you talking about? He's speaking... He's spitting facts again. We just watched the last special. But who's not listening to him? The American people. Not the American people, but the government. Why would? Why the fuck would they listen to a comedian about... C comedians speak the truth. We know this. Dave Chappelle be speaking the truth. All right, you're, 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 you're right. But if I'm, a, if, I'm in, if I'm in the government, or if I'm a part of... Uh, uh, beyond the government, I'm not listening to this guy. Or, I got a better question. Do you think the reason why they're not listening to him is because they don't really want to stop the drug trade? Not the drug trade, but the drug trafficking that's going on. Not, I mean, yeah, obviously. I feel like, it, why, would, why, would, why would I stop doing something that's beneficial towards me? Like, why would I stop doing that? But, I feel like if you make like the, um, the death penalty like a spectacle, it may cause more idiots to um, want to uh, get the death penalty so they can get like the last hurrah before like... Because people that have that, like, that type of mindset, like sociopaths and psychopaths and shit like that, uh -huh. they have narcissistic like, behavior. So they would do that just so like, um, like when they pass away or like when the, like they get the death penalty, they're infamous. they'll become more like, you know what I'm saying? Like infamous. Yeah. So like, I feel like that's not a good idea though. I mean, let, us, let us know in the comments. I want to do it. That's why I'm here. I mean, <laughs> let us know in the comments how y'all how feel about, about that. The fuck? And don't forget, the polls show the American people want capital punishment and they want a balanced budget. And I think even in a fake democracy, people ought to get what they want once in a while just to feed this illusion that they're really in charge. Let's use capital punishment the same way we use sports and television in this country to distract people and take their minds off how bad they're being fucked by the upper 1%. Now, unfortunately... Unfortunately, Monday Night Football doesn't last long enough. What we really need is year-round capital punishment on TV every night with sponsors. Gotta have sponsors. I'm sure as long as we're killing people, Marlboro Cigarettes and Dow Chemical will be proud to participate. Proud to participate. Balance the stupid fucking budget. I ain't gonna fret. If I was his age, I'm wearing the same outfit. I'll say this to you, my interesting Judeo-Christian friends, not only. Not only do I recommend crucifixions, I'd be in favor of bringing back beheadings. <laughs> beheadings on TV, slow motion, instant replay. <laughs> and maybe you could let the heads roll down a little hill <laughs> and fall into one of five numbered holes. <laughs> yeah. They love that shit. Let the people at home gamble on which hole the head is going to fall into. And you do it in a stadium so the mob can gamble on it too. <laughs> <laughs> more money. And you want to expand the violence a little longer to sell a few more commercials. Instead of using an axe, you do the beheadings with a handsaw. <laughs> hey, don't bail out on me now, goddammit. <laughs> the blood is already on our hands. All we're talking about is a matter of degree. You want something a little more delicate? We'll do the beheadings with an olive fork. That would be nice, and it would take a good goddamn long time. There's a lot of good things we could be doing. When's the last time we burned someone at the stake? It's been too long. It's been too long. <laughs> Here's another form of capital punishment. It comes out of a nice, rich religious tradition. Burning people at the stake. Sponsor, Bridgeford Charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> And you put it on TV on Sunday mornings. The Sunday morning evangelicals send us an offering, praise Jesus, human bonfire. You don't think that would get big ratings? In this sick fucking country? Of course. Shit, you'd have people skipping church to watch this stuff. 
<laughs> and you take the money they send in in the offerings and you use it to balance the budget. What about boiling people in oil? oil? Boy, those were the days, weren't they? You get the oil going real good, you know? A nice high rolling boil. And then slowly, at the end of a rope, you lower the perpetrator head first into the boiling oil. Huh? You talk about fun shit! <laughs> And just to encourage citizen participation, you let the mob in the stadium control the speed of the rope. Good, clean, wholesome family entertainment. The kids will love it. The kids will love it. <laughs> at the same time they're enjoying themselves, we're teaching them a nice Christian moral lesson. Boiling people in oil. Sponsor? Crisco. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And maybe, maybe instead of boiling all these guys, every now and then you can French fry a couple of them, you know? French fried felons, dip a guy in egg batter just for a goof, you know? <laughs> kind of a tempura thing, huh? Jeffrey Dahmer never thought of this yet, did he? <laughs> okay, okay. So Jeffrey Dahmer, eat your heart out. Which is an interesting thought in and of itself. He's heating up right now. He's not even heating up. He's been heating up. He's on a rampage right now. He's like, pop, 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 pop. Yeah. How do comedians do that? Like when they like, you know how like comedians now like they they would tell a joke and they would stop. He doesn't do that. Well, he just stopped now, but he would just keep hitting. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 boom. I think that's what makes him Carlin. You know, I think that's his style. Like he perfected that style. Um, yeah. Boom. He perfected that style. Do you think other? Tell me in the comment section. Do other comedians copy off of that? Like did he start that style of just fast paced, like rapid jokes? Like, cause I I seen I seen a couple of comedians do like a lot of Caucasian white comedians do that shit. <laughs> he goes out laughing, so. cause black comedians don't do that. Yeah, black comedians don't do. It. They they would tell a joke and they would stop. Shit, shit. Yeah, <laughs> they would do that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, like they would pause a lot and shit like that. But his is a boom, boom, boom. Like um, Dame Charge. Like his shit just keep going back. Yeah, back, Mitch back, and back. Mitch Mitch Hedberg too. Mitch Hedberg, but they not his is on topic. That means they just. Jokes out of anyway, like it's just random. Jokes. Yeah, especially yeah. Hedberg. But let, let us know, like, do people copy his style or whatever? I don't know. I want to know, cause I like it. Okay. All right, enough nostalgia. What about some modern forms of capital punishment? How about we throw a guy off the World Trade Center and whoever he lands on wins the publisher's clearinghouse? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So this is before two thousand nine. Okay, something a little more sophisticated. You dip a guy in brown gravy and lock him in a small room with a wolverine who's high in angel dust. <laughs> There's one guy who's not going to be fucking with too many kids at the bus stop for a while. Oh, come on. Here's something really nice you could do. You shoot a guy out of a high-speed catapult right into a brick wall. <laughs> Trouble is, it would be over too quick. No good for TV, you know. You'd have to do a whole bunch of guys right in a row. Rapid fire capital punishment. Fifteen catapults. While you're shooting off one, you're loading up the others. Of course, every now and then you would have to stop to clean off the wall. Cleanliness, right next to godliness. That was good. All right, high tech. I sense some of you are waiting for high tech. I got it. You take a small tactical nuclear weapon and stick it up a guy's ass. A thermonuclear suppository. Preparation H bomb. You talk about fallout, huh? Whoa. Or you take the bomb and you stick it just inside that little hole on the end of a guy's dick. You know? Yeah, a bomb in a dick. When it goes off, the guy wouldn't know whether he was coming or going. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was great. I love how he sold that joke. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm done with y'all. Y'all ain't ready for this shit. Yeah, that was yeah, I'll great. I'll fuck with it. Sorry. But, um, yeah, that was good. That was entertaining, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, when I watched Carlin, um, I'm learning to appreciate Wait. it more. Um, yeah, when I watched Carlin, I'm there for the, the wittiness and the, uh, the um, his his philosopher type ways, 
Um, he's not the funniest comedian to me. That's just my 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 preference. Um, however, I do enjoy watching him all the time. Like he's really a guy that make you think. And um, you know what I do I, now with comedians? Well, it's like <clears throat> you know, like different comedians have different styles. So you're not gonna find every comedian as funny as the next one. Like I want I want to find him as funny as Dave Chappelle. Yeah. But I look at like their strengths. Yeah. With the like the comedic style, like his is turn like being like a philosopher and playing off of that shit. It's like, all right, now I'm gonna look at your strength and see like I'm gonna enjoy it for what it is. That's yeah. what I do. I enjoy him for what it is. That's what makes me want to watch him more and enjoy him more and shit like that. And like, for instance, like Kevin Hart. Even though a lot of people don't fuck with Kevin Hart, I enjoy Kevin Hart for his comedic style. Like his just random shit, talk about his family. So it's like I know what I'm getting from you, so I'm not gonna expect you to be like David Chappelle. Yeah. So. Yeah. And um, however, his his it's fun. The topic that he was talking about, I like. Well, I'm speaking from 2021. You know what I mean? And I really feel like that's a bad idea. Like the bit was funny and it was you know it was entertaining. But I feel like that's a bad idea now because so much people are looking for clout uh -huh. and to be in the in the, um in the front and center of things uh -huh. that some people will really seek out the like people that that hate their lives or whatever the case may be will seek out the death penalty so they can get that final hurrah like look at me before I, I um I I, I I I get deleted from this planet. Yeah, you right. You right. Yeah, and um. I know people in the death penalty, which is stupid. Like, you know how they get their last meal? Yeah. I don't understand that, but, you know, I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, man. Holla at your boys. Don't trust our pants.